Debbie Owsley or normal British hair eyes. All I've known is a life of crime. And a life of crime with this woman was the jolt I needed. You crossed the queen and that's punishable by death. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Fly your colonized asses back to your third world country and give me back my f Ring! I built this town for families. You two are no longer a family. Where am I? You're in the clutches of Bobby Worse. Once we get the old queen off our ass, we'll go right back to living a normal life. It seems our new neighbors have some secrets up their ass. I was always a good girl. Trying to set an example for the pieces of trash I called mom and dad. Shit, that was a close one. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Shut up! Dinner's ready. I made rotisserie chicken. I say chicken. shut up, Melissa, and give us a place to count this money! I spent three hours cooking this dinner, and you just go come in here and throw you the You think everything's always about you, while innocent people unwillingly sacrifice this hard-earned money for us to have. You know what? To hell with you both. And to hell with living under your roof. I'm moving out of your home. You had an emergency bag already, Pat. You packed it for me! Oh, so I was supposed to remember everything I do! So I ran my ass far, far away. Where I can be anyone I wanted. It was too late for me to save my parents. But maybe she could save others. And maybe, just maybe, turn this world into a family-friendly haven. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Your Majesty, per your request, I have brought you the cocksuckers that have made you so hideous. Hello, cocksuckers. Your Highness. Your, your Majesty. My Majesty, your I have majesty. you are the Majesty, and we come <laughs> bearing a gift. Yes, you did. The gift that you stole from me! Yes, but let's just get this back on your stubby little finger. We'll call it a bit what? shite. You can give it to me over tea. <laughs> yeah. Would you care for some milk? Always. <laughs> Would you care for some? Per perhaps just for you, Squared. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mrs. Fontafossum, would you care for some tit piss? Oh, piss, please. Very British. Waitress! Where's that sacred bitch? The sacred one evicted y'all asses. Yeah, well, we might have some intel that'll make her reconsider that stupid fucking choice. But find a nicer way to say it to her. She's unstable. <laughs> now, I'll have my ring back, please. <laughs> Glad to get it off our hands. <laughs> get on it, get on it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, Mama's missed you, darling. Now, Mrs. Frontbottom will accompany you back home to await further instructions. Further instructions? Our debt to you is over. Read your bloody contract. Hey, you want me to read my bloody contract? I've memorized the bloody contract. It says, give me back my ring. That's it, black and white and clear as shit. Take a closer look. And, and do, do everything, everything I, I ask, ask for the remainder of your lives or face detonation of the bombs implanted in your necks. But we don't have implants! <laughs> ah! Does it hurt, darling? Ah! I don't get paid half the shit I'm worth. Good! Move your ass! I told you to get the fuck out of my town! No, you shut up and listen! Those new neighbors that you allowed in our neighborhood are living a double life! They're not who they say they are. This feels like it's about to go homophobic. They're not queer, they're British and they're criminals. Shit, you had me at British. As a matter of fact, I think you're already familiar with these people. Those are my Gallaghers. Were your Gallaghers. Didn't they promise they would never change their identities? But I built this town to rehabilitate bad families into good ones. I know, it's your life's work. Why, just last week you came to me looking like trash. And now I already got you looking like treasure. Well, those new neighbors are a cancer to the town you built and everything that it stands for. Find me everything you can on these assholes. And maybe I'll let you stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
British family. Yes, we're very, very foreign. Yeah. I'm just a regular daughter. Would you believe I haven't even had my period yet? So normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a normal British family, we really are quite convincing. I'm having the time of my life. As am I. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! The Queen just said her first order! Rob, Rob the, the nearest, nearest bank? bank? Are these crimes she's having us do? Well, basically anything Her Majesty doesn't want to do, so yes! Ah! Uh, okay, alright. You see, my wife and I got into this mix up to escape a life of crime, and now we seem deeper in it than ever. You've gotten yourself into this mix-up when you assaulted the Queen. Right. Well, I suppose we have a bank to rob then, don't we? No guns! Why not? Because they're not British and they're dangerous! <laughs> ah! Mrs. Frontbottom? I'd say that's a dead bitch! Now who could that be? I don't know. We're, We're not, not interested! interested. Just one bite of my blueberry tribal will make anyone interested. Oh, Mrs. Stencil! We didn't even recognize you. What's got you in such a tizzy? Oh, our daughter, she no, is very... Very, uh, very much alive, yes. Uh, yes, but she has that Benjamin Button condition, uh, so she could, you know, pass away at any moment, you see, which is... Normal. Normal. Very normal. normal and uh, legal. Mrs. Stencil, what is that down there? Those are my tits! And if the two of you keep staring at them, I'll have you both on some registered list of some kind. Right, well, you have yourself a lovely afternoon, Mrs. Stenfield. I'd like to come in, please. Yes! It's my right! You did what? We, we killed, killed your, your head, head of, of security. security. Shit, did you blow your cover? Oh, no, no, we disposed of the body with discretion. Nobody <laughs> look! Whatever. I have many heads of security. Well, this head of security was pretending to be our child. Which we need in order to live in this town. Undercover, like, like you are. are. Very well. I've already sent an orphan by drone. You should be receiving it shortly. Holy shit, you think that's it already? <gasps> well, fuck my tits, that was fast. I suppose it survived. Yeah. Well, done, it's here. Let's All right, here we go. Let's Is open it up. <laughs> Hello, governess. Hello, Hello orphan. orphan! We need you to pretend like we're your birth parents, okay? I was told you were my birth parents. Welcome back! Well, let's get you cleaned up. Mummy and Daddy have a back to rob. Splendid! This is a stick-up, dear boy. Now open your vault. You know the police are on their way here. Why, this is clan bill, dear boy. The police don't know their way here. Be sure the funds are not in my currency. I don't need this shit getting back to me. You fill that fucker with half a million yen and not a penny left. That's only like $5,000. <laughs> Half a million yen coming right up. I will be giving you an average of one task per week to carry out for me within 24 hours. All of which are things on my bucket list that I'm too chicken shit to do myself. Steal an American baby. I just fed you. For day 69. Yeah? You really shouldn't talk shit about the Queen on Twitter, dear. Ah! Demand, Demand free healthcare. So your total day comes to 14,000. Ah! For the Queen! Ah! Ah! Please. Didn't you two rob this place a while back? Don't be silly, dear boy. Those people had masks. Endanger a child. I literally just fed you. Sir, I'm going to ask you to put your penis away, please. How dare you stare at my exposed penile? I was not staring. Pervert! You're a pervert! Please stop. You were staring at his cock and now you're staring at my tits! Oh, pervert! Lift the dick up and give me everything you got! You really should have gone with the gun. I know, it's like being God everywhere you go. All right. Sorry. Yeah, and down we go, dear. Very good. Hey. We can now project that 
former Vice President Joe Biden has been elected President of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden, at 77 years old. Uh, it was rigged. Well, now, Madam President, I don't think there's any evidence that... Hi, P.S. I caution you to choose the next few words out of your little cock-sucking lips wisely. Well, ma'am, I believe this was the most secure election in all of his story. Hey, this is the United States of America, and we're watching protesters undermine... Leave these the assholes. The like rioting's gonna get that whore back in office. Four years. What's that? Four years we've been trying to expose our neighbors. Four fucking years okay. before this bitch was even elected. Well, dear, that's four years we've been allowed to live in Clamville without a child. But I want a child, Clyde. We've just been too goddamn busy spying on the neighbors. <laughs> Speak of the devils. We might finally have the proof we need to give up this goose chase. <laughs> this is how normal British people fuck. I'm coming in three, two, one. Bravo! Very good. Mommy, Daddy, the Queen has sent us an urgent telegram. Why, thank you. Uh, What's his name again? I don't know. I stopped bothering to name them at this point. Oh, well, read it to us, dear. <laughs> I'll never let her read. Blimey. I guess we have to read it ourselves. Oh, come on then, dear. Kidnap and send me Bobby West. Isn't that that terrorist we saw on the tinny telly? Tonight, we go inside Helen Brownstein for an in-depth look at her six months of being held hostage by horny terrorist Bobby Worst. How can you even begin to describe your experience? It sucked. Whatever, bitch, you wanted it. You got the wrong address, fuck off! I'm closed! Well, you better open the fuck up before I do it for you. Who are you and who do you work for? We work for your worst nightmare, Greta Thunberg! No, it's the Queen! And she would wrench to meet you! That doesn't make sense! <laughs> Who knew terrorism was such a heavy ordeal? Not the right moment, but that's a hilarious joke, dear. <laughs> Hello, shithead. Oh, Greta, you got that Benjamin Button disease. I can't keep doing this, dear. I'm starting to not care if she blasts this fucker in my neck. Speak for yourself, sweetheart. I'm surprised we haven't been killed yet, to be honest. With all the people we fuck over each week, it's only a matter of time before we start making enemies. The only question is whether they're going to be more or less dangerous than her. Who will that be at this hour? We're closed! You suppose he could hear us? Looks like there's no one here, boss. I can smell British people for miles, and this house reeks. Smells like pussy, boss. Smells like two pussies, Donovan. Let's toss the place till we find them. Go. <laughs> no, that's not what tossing means. 